Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Well, yesterday I made this really cute and fun card envelope box and it was very simple and I lined it with chipboard and I think it turned out very well. Today I am making just a mini purse that will hold cards and I'm not lining it with any chipboard. It's going to be a very simple project and it's designed to hold 10 lightly embellished A2 cards and envelopes. And when I say lightly embellished, really no um, heavy 3D items on it, just really flat items on the cards. So we are going to make this beautiful bag and let's get started on making it. I will need my scoreboard and a piece of decorative cardstock that measures 12 by 11. And on the 12 inch side, I am going to score this at seven and a quarter. And I'm going to turn it and score it at seven and a quarter again. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is just to make sure that it's definitely even on both sides of the score lines. And then I'll turn it and I'm going to score at two and a half inches on the 11 inch side. And then I'll turn it to the other side of the 11 inch side and score at two and a half inches. And now I can put my scoreboard away for just a little bit. And I am going to come back and just fold my score lines in and burnish them. And the paper that I'm using is the Zelatil collection from Prima. Unfortunately, it is a discontinued collection, but if you search online, you might be able to find it out there. I haven't searched, but it, there may be someone who's still selling it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on my score line in the middle and just cut my tabs. I'm going to move this over just a little bit so that I can see where I scored. And I'm going to turn it on this side because I can definitely see it now. And I'm going to come in and just angle cut that a little bit. Not a lot. And I'll turn it on this side and do the same thing. Find my score. And just a slight angle cut. And then I'm also going to come back with my scissors and just remove some of this so that it's not in the way on the inside when I'm placing the cards. And we aren't going to make the cards today, just the bag. So when you're done, it should look like this. And now we can put it together. So I am going to just fold this up this way and place just a little bit of glue here on this tab and on the inside of here. And I'm gonna be very fairly generous with the glue so that my bag will stay together. And then what I'll do is I will bring this up so that this is the non-glued side. So I'm going to bring it up so that it meets that glued tab. And then I'll take the glued side and just fold it over. And now I can come back in with my bone folder and just smooth all of that down. And what I want is for my top to be nice and even. And now on this side, I can come back with my glue and I can place my glue on this one because I want to make sure that my flaps are both going in the same direction. And then I'll fold this one down and fold this one over. 
and then fold this one down, getting my tops aligned, and I'll come in on the inside and just smooth that down with my, my bone folder. All right, so now what I have, we've got the body of our little purse, and now I want to go ahead and place two toppers. So I have two pieces that measure two by six. I have scored and folded them in half, and I'm going to put them down. And I'll be putting them, putting them down with glue. Come back in and just smooth this out with my bone folder. Get it nice and straight and crisp. So that's how it looks. And I'll take my other one and I'm going to place glue on it. Turn it over and I'll put it down here. And then I'm going to come back on the inside and just smooth it out and just make sure that glue is nice and stuck. So we have the makings of a very pretty purse. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make my handles. So what I'm using to make the handles are two strips that measure 12 by one and a half. And then I place them in my scoreboard and I score it at three eighths and then at one. And all I'm going to do is fold this over onto itself. So let me go ahead and glue that up. Sorry about that dinging noise you guys just heard. It was a reminder for me to take my vitamins. And then I'm going to come back on this side and place my glue from top to bottom and edge to edge. And then let's fold that over Get that smooth down and then I'll come back with my bone folder and smooth it out and then you can take anything that you have and just sort of curl it and that'll just make it easier when you're attaching it to the bag and I'm going to run this along the edge of my desk because that helps me to get the curvature that I want Okay, so now we've got two handles, and the way that I'm going to place these handles is I'll be using brads and these little mini D-rings. Okay, so let me show you how I actually do the fold over on this little tab, and then we'll insert the um, D-ring, and we'll put this bag together. So all I'm doing is adding glue to my little tab piece. I'll fold it over and just make sure I've got that glue nice and stuck. And then I'm going to bring it through punch a hole and then place my bread. And now we can do this side of the bag. I've already done the other side, so we can do this side together. Okay, so let's take some glue, place it on the back of our little tab and then I am going to position it very close to the edge of my um, topper piece here 
and I'm just going to hold that in place until that glue sets. And then I'll place the other one as well. So let's put some glue. Let me eyeball this. And then I'm going to hold it down until it sets. And now I can take my handle and the way that I attach the handle is that I feed it through the opening of the D-ring and I'll have this little piece here that I'm going to fold up and then I'll take some glue and place it on the piece that I folded up and then I'll just hold this down until that glue sets. So now I can come back through because the glue has set and I am going to take my punch here and just punch a hole coming through the handle and the bag. And I'll take another bread, put it in, feed it through. and open it up. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to take the handle, feed it through, just like that. And then I'll take my glue and place my glue right here. and I'm going to hold it until it sets up. And then I can take my brad, my brad setter, so I'll take the punch, and I'm gonna stand this up for just a minute so that I can see where I'm punching. So I'm punching through the handle and into the inside of the bag. I'll take my bread and feed it through. And then I can open the bread up. And there, we've got the bag looking really cute. But one thing that I want to do is I don't want the brad showing on the inside, so I'm going to take a piece of coordinating paper, and it's a strip that measures one inch by six inches. And I am just going to cover the brad on the inside so that it doesn't show. So I'll take this place it right on the inside of my bag, slide it into place. I'm going to come in with my paper towel and get that glue. And there, I think that is very pretty. So now what we get to do is decorate. And just like with this one, I am going to decorate using flowers and twine. I have a small piece of twine and I am just going to place a little bit of glue there. Take that twine and just position it right there. I have three of these flowers that I also used yesterday and they are part of a, a ribbon spool and all I did was just deconstructed it. Took the flowers off. And I'm just going to place these flowers down in no particular way, just putting them down so that they look pretty to me. 
and then I'll take my third one and place it down. And then I'm going to come back with my scissors and just cut off a little bit of this twine so that it's not hanging too far over the edge. And there you can see just how pretty this bag is and how quick this project is. So now I've got two really cute bags and they too will be build your own card kits. And like I said, they will hold 10 um, lightly embellished cards and 10 envelopes. If you put embellishments on it, you're probably going to be able to get between four and six cards and four and six envelopes in each one. But I think that this is just a very grand way of being able to give a gift of cards to someone. And it's also a beautiful bag just to be able to use as a gift bag. So if you've liked this project, please hit the like button. And if you have just stopped by my channel and you aren't a subscriber, I would love to have you join my online family. You guys have a great day and we will craft later. Bye.